Okay, uh, we're on. I think we're on. Yeah, we're on. Okay, we're live. Okay, codependency, uh, love addiction, and being in a relationship. Um, well, dependency is attachment, you know, and uh, dependency and attachment are due to the projection of magical qualities, the projection of specialness. Uh, onto an individual, then creates uh, an attachment. They're imbued with um, they're imbued with importance, uh, and uh, what happens is what's projected out is the source of love and security and protection is in this physical person. So then that creates a dependency or an attachment or or, or uh, a love addiction. If you're going in a relationship. Um, if, well, I can speak for myself. If I was going to go into a, into a relationship, maybe a romantic relationship, I'd be continuously trying to wash out uh, the projection of specialness that I'm putting on the other person. Because um, as a, I think as a human being, there'll be a tendency, because, you know, I watch so many Disney films. It's, for me, it's like, you know, it gets reversed because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just an addict. So for me, it's like I want a princess to come and save me from life, you know, and it's rather than... So even though I'm a man, I'd want some like, sh but I say, princess in shining armor to come rescue me from life. So, <laughs> so it, it just it sounds funny, but there you go. We and uh, yeah. so that's what. So as soon as there's a woman, like a romantic interest or something, then that projection, you know, like this woman's got to like rescue me from this life. Life. So I don't want that to be continuously going off, and then all the fantasy, and then, and then all the meaning going on. Like this is my savior is in this person. So I'll be constantly, so if I'm going to be dating someone, then I'll be constantly using it uh, to transcend the individual, to stay in. So there's various things you can do from a 12-step point of view to be like, get out of self and kind of be of service. Uh, for, uh, but, but on the um, Course in Miracles thing, it'd be letting go of the projection of specialness. You know, because actually, you know, if I'm uh, dating someone, there, you know, I have to keep repeating, you know, one of the things to do would be, I'd be like, hopefully sneaking in, like looking at them and muttering under my breath, you know, uh, you know, you're meaningless. And then I'm looking at the plant and saying, oh, that plant's also meaningless and the sky's also meaningless. And then going back to them. Because of course the miracles teaches something I thought which was really genius, which is that you look at each thing for an equal amount of time. Like I look at the girl for one second and I'm mumbling, you're meaningless. And then, <laughs> and then I'm looking at the table. Great way to lose that relationship. I haven't had, I haven't had, I'm just trying to make you're it funny. I'm trying to, but I haven't had a girlfriend for a long time. So, so, so <laughs> and I look at the table. <laughs> look at the table for a second. You make them into a table, that's right. <laughs> I make a table. Table's equally meaningless. Because if I'm looking at the girl for too long, saying you're so special, you see, it's gonna, gonna, you know, oh, you're so amazing, you're so special. Mm. Oh, let me look at you. You're very even more special. For me, that's gonna then create a, a, a bigger dependency and a bigger attachment. Mm -hmm. And the course is sort of saying, look at the table for a second, it's meaningless. Mm. Look at the girl for a sec, for one second, it's meaningless. Equal, equal amounts of time, and looking everywhere equally, because the the plant is as beautiful as the girl. And the table is as exquisite as the plant. <laughs> so everything is in the everything is equally beautiful everywhere you look. There is no such thing as the ego looking at one object and saying this is a special object. So that's then creating the attachment of a, spe <coughs> of a special projection. So I'd be like, I'd be so I'd be like having to, to keep washing out, ha washing out <coughs> my ego's tendency to create a a special object. Which which brings limited love, because I then get cut. So, so again, the uh, the um, what Ramana said to me was the, the great one. What Moody said to me, what Ramana said, it's like, you know, if I want something, uh, if I'm thinking about something, I want something. When I get it, I, I get a high, I get a hit, because I, I've imbued that thing with magic. So when I get it, I get a rush. I'm happy, and then and then, but that wears off. Because it's, it wears off, because um, you, the reason why when you get something that you want, you get a hit, is because uh, it's, you want it. That's why you get a hit from it, because you've been wanting it. So that vibration of wantingness for that 
you know, for the woman to fix me. If I finally get a woman, then I suddenly get an amazing hit because I've been wanting that woman to be my salvation. So it's my wantingness that deflates. The ego stops its vibration because it's got the thing. I got the thing I wanted. So I get a hit, which is the absence of my ego wanting it. And I get a connection to God. But then the ego comes up, it's not enough. And then I, the hit wears off. So I don't want to like, so, so I know it's going to be an illusion. All I'm getting when I meet a girl that I want is I'm getting an absence of my ego because I, don't, because I think I've got the thing I want for a short time before the ego starts to reopen again saying I want more you see, or I want different, or she needs to have a different hairstyle or something, whatever it is. So, so it'll just come up because it won't be enough because it's a temporary hit of the absence of getting the thing you want. So it's a total illusion. So I don't want that. And actually it's not going to be good for the girl, it's not going to be good for me to be in that cycle because the more I project, as, as was just said by this gentleman here, the more I project that stuff, the more the love will become limited and controlling from me because I want to now... So I got the first hit. Oh, it was so amazing the first time I met you. But today your hair's all wrong, so make sure you put your hair differently. And can you, can you change the colour of the clothes you're wearing? And I think we need to meet in the same place we met last time because I'm not feeling as connected to you today as I did yesterday. So it's going to be like all of this, all of this stuff because I want to get my hit. I want to feel alive like I did the first day. And now you're not giving it to me, so you must be doing something wrong. So, so, it's like that, you see. so, so it's like so. So it's not. It's not going to be whole love. Whole love is just as one of us, and, and 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 actually, you're just as beautiful as a plant. You see, that's like holy love. So you don't have to say that. But anyway, <laughs> but um, so you have to have a bit of a sense of humour. But um, so you want to stay in the. Pre you want to be out of the ego, not out of a dualistic projection of specialness. So, uh, oneness. And then, and then she's going to be happy and you're going to be happy because you're going to be emitting that, that love which is not controlling, which is not like, uh, I can't love you today because you're not doing this thing I like you to do, whatever it is. Uh, and to know that, so who was it? Yeah, so it's to be a channel of love. When I go into my addiction, I'm empty and I want you to be the love. You know, like, you know, if you just do this the way I want you to do it. So. So it's a great thing. So in the in a relationship, if I'm in a new relationship, is to keep letting go of the specialness. Or if there's a craving, if I'm feeling also to practice for me, it's like I love this thing which I mentioned before with Hawkins, it's like my allegiance is to be present, you know, and to get my life from being present. So it's like if there is if the girl leaves or the partner leaves and you're starting to you know, you should be devoted to being in that new moment. Don't hang on to, oh, I miss you, or the story, or whatever it is. Just stay present and be happy in the next moment. When you're, when you're with them, you're with them, present and happy. And the moment they've gone, you just let it go and just be in the next present moment. So the allegiance is to, to, to being in, in, in God's grace, you see, rather than to be imbuing magical qualities. Um, if your level of consciousness is not that, you can pray for them. Pray for a miracle to see them differently. Pray that the specialness be removed from them. Pray to see them in truth. Uh, I mean, some of the Course in Miracles lessons are lovely. Like, mm -hmm. you know, pray to see Christ in them. Yeah. Uh, pray to see Christ in them. I mean, you know, so... Mm -hmm. But Christ, and then Christ in everyone else you see as well. Uh, the Christ thing, like if I do... If I do the try and see Christ in a woman, then immediately the, the, the kind of the lust, the sex, you know, the, the thing, the fantasy that they're supposed to fix my life starts to vanish. It starts to become much more neutral rather than anything that's sort of romantic, sexual or anything like that. So, um, so, so that's another thing that can be done with relationships. Um, just my own, from my own thing, you know, um, I think Hawkins wrote, wrote something really, really nice in this, you know, like, you know, the, the needy energy is not really useful mm. in, 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 in relationships. Yeah. Like, like, don't leave me, you know, like, uh, I'm lonely today, don't leave me. You know, like, it's, mm. not, it's not that great in the long term. Mm. So, um, like, you know, sometimes, like, when you've got the connection, you're in the present moment, and you're the holy instant, and you're just happy because you're connected, uh, you f I think people like to be in your company much more. 
then you know like oh you know uh, you know like please don't leave me uh, I'm feeling lonely today uh, you know can you come around tomorrow I'm not feeling that good so that stuff is um, that stuff is so so on, an, on another level even if I was attached to the girl I know it's not good for me or attached to the guy uh, it's not it's not good for me to be needy and projecting magical stuff it's probably going to have the reverse effect it's too big of a burden. Yeah. I've done that to people and they would feel it energetically. So yeah. I was asking them for my fix for this huge, huge hole I had, which is my addiction. And energetically there was no resistance. So that people, it would even push mm. them away. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's too yeah. much of a burden. Mm. There's no way. Yeah. Mm. So, not that we should manipulate people, but probably the more I let go of my attachment, that's right. The more I let go of my attachment, the more I can be of love to them and the more they're going to be happy. Because everyone wants, you know, if I have a choice between, this is not the right way I'm phrasing it, but if I can be with someone who's emitting love and is connected to God's grace, or if I'm going to be around someone who's feeling very, very needy the whole day, I'm probably going to feel better with the person who's like in the holy instant, who's like enlightened and is in joy, just to hang around them is going to be nice for the whole day than someone I go, oh, you're my higher power and I'm feeling very, very needy. So, so I think, so it can be used as an ego manipulation, but probably it's better to let go of that special projection mm -hmm. and the relationship, we're going to have a better chance of be developing to a higher potential 